This is a sponsored video because I have to save up money for my studio. Brought to you by Summoner's War. Summoner's War is the classic RPG. It's one of the most popular on the App Store and frankly, it's the cutest one. With millions of players from around the world. Seriously, I look at these guys. They're all so cute. Look at Durin. I, I want to smooch him. I'm... I'm actually begging, please. I want a dating sim spinoff, please. <laughs> Summoner's War has over 1,000 cuties to collect and toss into the throes of battle. Players can try out various team compositions and strengthen their monsters with runes and sacrificing your other monsters to help you progress through the harder levels. I really like the fairy you get at the beginning. She's got a little butterfly bow. My heart can't handle it. And my first lightning, which is Elite Summoner's gamer talk for natural four-star, was this guy, Sniper MK. Look at him, McCree looking twink, I love him. Right now, Summoner's War is celebrating their sixth anniversary by giving away 100 free summons. And more events are coming to celebrate the six year anniversary soon. So if this sounds like your kind of game, now's the time to play. You can download the game using the link in my description below and then get summoning to see what monsters will help you with your journey. And now, on with the video. Amiibo cards. But so, oh fuck, it's got perforated it. I was ready, I was ready to cut it. <laughs> Not our knife, it's new. Save it for our new house. <laughs> Not so good, Darcy. I was so tempted to get Amiibo cards, but I was thinking they're kind of expensive. I don't really have a real reason to like buy Amiibo cards, right? Like I can't really justify it. But then I get people commenting. They're like, hey, Jekyll. Jekyll. <laughs> He wants to unpackage these. Yeah, <laughs> Man, both of you have painted nails and I don't. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, so sorry. Sucks to suck. Woo! <laughs> but I was thinking, you know, I get a lot of comments of people recently. They're like, can you do human villagers? And I was like, that'd be really cute. But how do I randomize what I get? I know how to randomize what I get. Amiibo cards. There's only three, four. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I thought there was four series. I got one of each, not including the new one. So what we're going to do. We're gonna open these up, and whatever's inside them, I gotta draw them. Good. Just like that? Does that work? Careful, they might already be revealed. Or are they flat packaged? Nope, they're packaged. <gasps> Aha! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, hold this. All right. Here we go. You're such a pansy. Open it Listen, right. Listen, I your care arm about strength? I care about opening amiibo. I care so. you. Okay, okay, I'm so ready. We're going one at a time. We're going in order. Make sure we've got a good view. Oh, we got a good view. First card, yellow. Might be the. Oh. Oh, Walker. All right. Look at him. Look at his face. Oh, lad. So we've got Walker. We've got ooh, Annalisa. That's fun. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought that was Samson. a big blue bear. <laughs> Samson, that's all right. Octavian. Hey, a lot of people like him. Not my favorite. Kurt. Kurt. Oh. oh. <laughs> and the last one should be the shiny. Lyle. Ooh, Lyle. He's not. Oh, I guess he's like a little bit. Yeah, all those are going to be holographic. All right. Um, just like a little bit. Just all right. A bit. Um, oh, wait, not the best it. pull on the on the first. Yeah, pack. it's all right. No Don't... one I'm like excited about, no. but it's okay. <gasps> kicks. <laughs> I oh. love kicks. I want to draw kicks. Okay. <gasps> Felicity! Oh, Felicity. Oh, Felicity. <laughs> Ooh, Avery. Ooh, nice. Avery's cool. I like that. Yeah, I'm I into that. I love that Legend of Zelda character. Shut wow. the Teddy's all right. Teddy, Teddy. Fresh. Oh, yeah. He's cute. He's cute. Spray <gasps> oh, oh, that's Mason's. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. And the last one is Jenko. Oh, Jenko. Jenko. <laughs> oh, Henry. Henry. All right. All right, Cute. not bad. Not That was bad. a good haul. Okay. Ah! I fell. All right, NPC. Wendell. 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 All right. Cute. Rodeo. Oh, he, I, I like him. I like horror. Rodeo. He's like scary looking. Mac. Mac. I kind of love him, actually. Look at his dumb face. Look at, Look at that face. stupid face. <laughs> Look at that stupid face. Oh, stupid face. Look, twins. <laughs> Oh, she's the lesbian. Yeah. Yay. Astrid, all right. Oh, oh wow. A kangaroo. Maple. Oh, cried. Maple's cute. Oh, yeah. And last NPC. Shrunk. Hey, all right. Shrunk. All right. Oh, Melba! Melba! Oh, perfect. 
Melba's one of my dreamies, but I already have her. But now you can keep her forever. Yay. Tammy. Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Mason had Tammy. Ooh, Lucy's kind of cute. Ugh. Rowan. Rowan. <laughs> oh, Felicity. <laughs> and finally, Bruce. 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 Not the best haul in the universe. I like them. I like most They're, of them. Thank the you. Let's, you know. <laughs> Now that we have all the cards open, I've decided to draw all of them in numerical order according to the number at the top right of the card, meaning Kurt is up first. Before drawing most of these, I used some time traveling to pop them into my campsite in New Horizons to make sure that their designs hadn't changed and see if anything about their personality surprised me so I could incorporate it into the design. I would have assumed Kurt was a jock-type villager. In fact, one might even say I did assume that he was one when I started drawing. I didn't know he was actually a cranky villager until I finished the drawing and decided to start double-checking the cards against the wiki where I found out the actual personality types. That's fine, that's fine. I drew him thinking he was a jock, but he's got a peeved face. That looks cranky, right? It only means I would have given him an entirely different outfit if I knew he was cranky, but whatever. When I started drawing him, I pictured one of those football players that are like, the kind that are hiding super muscles under some chunk for the body type, you know? And I went with some fluffy hair that in my head was supposed to be reminiscent of a teddy bear being fluffy. The markings on his face as a bear look kind of like a beard, but I thought that adding a beard to the face that I had already drawn would be kind of weird because I drew him kind of rocking a baby-ish face, a cranky baby face. So instead, I superimposed the marking onto his sweatpants. I also gave him a football and worn out tennis shoes because jock, but that's okay. You guys can forgive me. I give you my permission. <laughs> I don't have too much to say about him otherwise. The first three cards I wasn't excited to draw, so please bear with me. <laughs> anyway, here's Kurt. Second design is Octavian. I hated every second of drawing Octavian. Uh, people like this guy. I bet lots of bitches could make him look cool, but alas, I am not bitches. <laughs> I had no idea what to do with his hair, so I left him bald, and I tried a few different ways of designing his clothes. His pants, I wanted to take some inspiration from those punk pants in the game that have those straps and the metal rings down the side, because I thought that the metal rings would be a cool attempt at a motif of suction cups. I tried playing with the jacket around his waist and having it frayed to be the tentacles, but I decided I didn't like that, so I made him wear the jacket and have a weird undershirt that just straight up had suction cup designs on it. He's a cranky villager, so I let his face be scrunched and I just put a hood on to cover up the fact that I can't draw bald heads without hair. And then there's just red, just, just red everywhere. I threw the whole man into cherry Kool-Aid. His design is a fashion disaster, but because I had so many cards to draw, I was limiting myself to about an hour on each character. So we're gonna be moving on. Here's my final Octavian. Except I really hated every second of drawing him, so I started over. <laughs> when I initially finished drawing him, I thought I only wanted to spend like an hour on each pick. I'll just, I'll just have to live with this. Not everything can be perfect. I don't like most of the things I draw after a couple weeks anyway. Really, Reagan, your time is better spent doing something else and just leaving him alone. But actually, at the point that I redrew him, it had been a couple days since I finished the whole video and it, like th the speed paint was finished, it was done but I couldn't let it go. I was almost ready to post it and it was still bothering me so I scrambled to redo him last minute. The Octa jacket undershirt thing stood out too much, so I, I don't know, it was too dorky. It wasn't cranky enough. I didn't like it. I didn't like the hood. So hood down, gave him a beanie, replaced the jacket with tattoos and a slight color adjustment on most of his outfit. There, Octavian again. Better, I hope, ugh. Samson, I really wasn't looking forward to. The most interesting thing about his card design was his strappy looking shirt. Not just like straps, but like they look like brick sort of straps, like big old fickle straps. But when I loaded him into the New Horizons campsite, he had just a plain white shirt with black kanji on it. And I was like, okay, that's boring. And then I realized he was a jock villager and I could turn this around. From the card, I completely assumed he was going to be a normal type villager, but no. 
No, he rocked into my campsite, gloating about how many laps he could swim and irons he could pump, and all I could think was rat boy twink. So I chose a string bean of a boy who's way too excited and gave him two pound hand weights. I let him have his new shirt with the rolled up sleeves to give his arms some air during their workout. I slapped his old shirt on his ass as a spanksy kind of workout short, and then I threw a very a very scrawny, very pitiful looking sweatband on his forehead to kind of look like his tail and his ears. I went into this drawing expecting nothing and I came out a little too tickled with my own idea and more excited than ever to finish this challenge. Here's Samson, I actually like him now. <laughs> Annalisa was the first card that I had an idea for right when I opened the pack and I was really excited to get to her. I was expecting her personality to be snooty, which would have been funny because snoot, but it turns out she's just a normal villager. So, okay, cool. I ignored that. I drew her more with the snooty idea. I liked that one better. I gave her short, slicked back widow's peak hair to reflect the hair that's drawn on her. In New Horizon, she's got this kimono looking robe. So I, I gave her the robe and I had the sleeves falling off to reveal another dress underneath it with her old argyle shirt pattern since it went with the colors really well. I made her flat shoes red because her, her paws are red. Paws, hands, feet, I don't know. Do anteaters have paws? Are those paws? I rimmed them with purple to look like the maybe paws. I gave her half gloves because half of her paws are red. It's like an anti-smudge guard. It's not gonna do anything for drawing on your tablet. It's just fashionable, maybe. And then I decided not to incorporate her tail anywhere because I liked her exactly as I had her. Where the snooty part comes in is that I especially liked that her dress kind of looked like a at-home spa day because I don't leave my home ever sort of comfort glam. And I'm very happy with my final, Annalisa. And next up was Walker. Turns out he was a lazy type villager and his shirt only barely changed in New Horizons from his card. For this design, I was just making everything up on the fly because I was on my self-imposed time limit and I hadn't thought of anything for him before I started drawing that wasn't boring. I didn't think his design as a villager gave me a lot to work with. I tried to give him really fluffy anime hair to represent the face markings and his ears as well as giving him kind of longer earlobes than I usually give characters since the dogs in Animal Crossing have those long droopy ears. I was just going to give him a t-shirt, but I wanted to make it large and comfy since the wiki said he was sleepy and that goes with lazy. And then I threw some sweatpants on him to add to the comfy look with padded knees just for the variety of sweatpants sakes. And then I put bones on the drawstrings because dog. I gave him slippers to wear out into the world. I intended for those to be the comfy house shoes that are like plastic underneath and fluffy on the inside, but fate took the wheel and now they're just slippers. There's a good boy, Eki S. Walker. I had Felicity next, which was exciting because Lissy, but I didn't want her to look like my Felicity, so I was just excited over the name. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, I've got two comics. The first one is Nezre, which has its dub started on my channel, but the second is Lissy Lock, and the main character there is Felicity, and that's my girl! This Felicity, Animal Crossing Felicity, however, is a peppy personality type and has much shorter hair, so there's not a whole lot in common going on between these two. I'm just excited about a name. <laughs> you see, I might not have gotten my Dream Villager cards, but I got the ability to play God. Get out. Get out. Did you just kill Ripot? Yeah! <laughs> I get to have both twins in the same town. Actually, just in general, this, this combo is like pretty blessed. I would have cried if I got Lily too. That would have been perfect. I gave Animal Crossing Felicity a couple bows to nod back to her ears and tail. I gave her her same argyle dress, but I embellished the sleeves and skirt a little bit just for fun. I gave her a bell choker because cat, and her shoes are just pink flats to keep the pink from looking out of place in her accessories. Here is my final result, Miss Felicity. Speak, speak to her, speak to Felicity. <laughs> Say it. Call me by my name. Do it, damn it. Say it. Rain. What? <laughs> Felicity won't say Felicity's name. <laughs> she knows this is like she. She won't say Felicity's name. She's in like name. a time warp and she's like freaking out. <laughs>
Like I said earlier, I was limiting myself to an hour each on each drawing because I wanted to get this video done in like three days so I can carry on with my many other projects. So Avery was the last design I did on the first day. I popped him into my island at like 1 a.m. I saw his fabulous new shirt and also that he was sporting blue eyeliner. I was excited. His hair shape is supposed to kind of reflect the shape of the entire bird head. I was trying to make his markings look like eyebrows on a human face. And for his outfit, I was going for a I like to spend all my time in nature and finding hiking trails spontaneously sort of vibe. I didn't check his wiki until too late. Again, I'm, I'm really bad at this apparently. Apparently he's a cranky type villager. Again, would not have guessed. <laughs> both, you know, both Kurt and Avery were only chill and friendly in their campsites. And like, I know, I know why villagers aren't as rude as they used to be in the GameCube era, but man, cranky personality types took a nerf. You, you can't tell, they don't act cranky. Anyway, I gave him sharp nails since he has talons and then I painted them blue because I figure if he's gonna wear eyeshadow, he's gonna go the whole nine yards. I made his shirt loose and short just for the sake of making a fun shape and then realized with the extra gray sleeves I gave him representing the wing patterns, the implication was that he was wearing a crop top under a crop top, which, I mean, really, more guys should be wearing crop tops, so I take this as a win. <laughs> Avery is the change I want to see in the world. Here's my final scree bird. Start of day two, because I got like no sleep the night before, I was totally unfocused until the evening and had to rush to try and get all seven for the day done. Let that be a lesson to you folks. First of the day was Teddy. I had no idea what personality type he was, but the moment he opened his mouth in my campsite, it was very obvious he was a jock, which is interesting because New Horizons gave him a cute little collared shirt and his voice was like so soft and cute and I'm just kind of in love with him now. I wanted to make him a beefy nerd, so I kept his shirt, but I accentuated the collar into an undershirt that I made longer than his sweater, and I took the clover from his previous design and used it as buttons for said accentuated shirt. Then I brought the green from the clover into his pants and his shoes to make the shamrocks fit, and he's just, he's, he's big, beefy, sweet boy. I'm weak for him. I want, I want, I wish to smooch his forehead. Final Teddy. Next in the initiative is Sprinkle, Peppy type. I was excited to draw her because she's one of Mason's favorites and I wanted to design something that he would be proud of. So I make my sketch. I make her thickums, make her all round, all's good, off to a good start, all's good. And then I realize the problem with my personal decision to incorporate the cards outfit with the New Horizons outfit into the same design. Cause her design on the card is like a pixel ice tree looking print. And I looked at it and I thought, well, that's going to be annoying. I'll put it on her tights. And then coloring made me hate everything about living life. Drawing a pixelish style by hand on a curved surface like thighs sucks. I never want to do it again. Fuck Sprinkle. Other than her cursed tights, which really are my own fault. So I shouldn't be saying fuck Sprinkle. I should say fuck me, but fuck Sprinkle. I gave her a really big bun to add to the roundness of her head. And since her face is so colorful, I gave her really bold makeup and I added white glitter to her eyes and nose to make them look like Sprinkles. In the end, I hate that her hair, sweater, and tights are all different shades of blue. They all clash. It's kind of nasty but I think her face is serving at least, so here's Sprinkle. Humphrey is next, and he comes with a bit of a story. I was checking him out in the campsite. He's a cranky type, tiny ham ham. He's got a really deep voice and he calls everyone kiddo. I was kind of stumped on what to do with him, but I figured it would make sense for him to be older, probably with a beard, but I couldn't figure out how short he should or shouldn't be, given that hamsters are some of the smallest villagers and also just really tiny animals in the real. I got the idea while I was sketching that, hey, I've never drawn someone with dwarfism before. Maybe I should give that a try for once. And I had to look up some references to get the proportions right. I was talking to my friend about my observations and I had to explain I'm giving one of my villager Jajinka's dwarfism, so that's why I'm looking it up. And my friend said, so you're drawing, he said, he said a name. I didn't recognize this name, but rather than just looking up the name, I took a leap of faith that maybe he was referring to a celebrity and maybe I can make an educated guess on which celebrity was being referenced. And I asked, is that the guy from X-Men and from Pixels? And my friend said, Peter Dinklage, yes. <laughs> and I looked back at the face of my Hamphrey sketch and I went, oh, hmm. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> That's okay though, Peter Dinklage is pretty handsome. Anyway, 
I think I want to keep collecting card packs and drawing villagers I pull, and I think I've decided that all the hamsters that I draw from now on will have dwarfism because it's really lame that I wasn't diverse enough to draw that body type before, and I, I want to draw more. I, I want to draw Flurry so bad. She's so goddamn cute. Anyway, here's Final Hamfrey. Rodeo, I was excited about drawing because I had the general idea that I wanted him to be stocky and rectangular. And instead of being totally human, I wanted to keep him spooky. So looking almost entirely, but not entirely totally human because I think his design is super fun. I really wanted to keep his beady red eyes real bad and those would look out of place on a human in my style. So I figured I was just gonna lean into it. Then I got a curveball. His amiibo card has this plain striped red shirt but in New Horizons, they gave him a robe with red accents. So instead of looking like the friendly neighborhood cryptid, he looks more like a court judge, which didn't fit with the image in my head. I had to improvise real quick. His sketch didn't turn out as bulky as I wanted because men are hard to draw, but I turned his robes into a big puffy jacket to help that sort of bulky silhouette. And on a whim while I was drawing him, I thought Rodeo is a lazy villager and he's got a tie, and tying ties is really hard. I don't know how to tie a tie. Would he really have a tie with this jacket? So I tied it in an incorrect bow, and I made it look like his striped shirt. Let that be a little character thing. I don't think he can, I don't think he can tie a tie. Me either, buddy. <laughs> I left his skin tone for last because I really wasn't sure where I wanted to go with it. I kind of liked leaving him with just jet black skin because I thought it really completed the cryptid look, but last minute I decided to use the color of his horns as his skin just to tie that in between the two designs. So here's my final rodeo. He's your friendly humanoid neighborhood sleep paralysis demon. Mac was next and he had the same eyebrows that we already saw on Kurt and Octavian and I didn't want to just draw those the, the eyebrow muscles again, so I had to mix it up a little bit. His dog design is kind of plain, not a lot stood out to me, so I started off making his face as bulldog-like as I could, with a bunched up chin and wrinkles, and I kept his nose all the way it is. I don't know what to call that. Uh, piggy, little piggy snoot, I like it. And instead of snapping on these eyebrow muscles like I did for Kurt and Octavian, I gave him really big angular eyebrows. His hair I made kind of wispy, and then I put it into a bun with the excess hair hanging over it to kind of represent the ears and tails in the vaguest of ways. I also made his earlobes a little bit longer like I did with Walker. His pose is supposed to be like eccentric superhero wannabe because he's a jock. I made him a bit stockier because he's a jock. And I turned his old floral shirt pattern into his shoe pattern. Max a lot like Samson where I went in expecting to be bored with the final design. And in the end, he's one of my favorites. I don't know, I, I think he's cute. Here's Mac. Mary! was an experience because her amiibo card is super cute. It's just super cute. But I never noticed the most interesting part of her design ever until I loaded her into New Horizons. Guys, she's got a double chin. I never knew she had a double chin. Guys, she's fat. Big baby, oh my God. I don't know why that makes me so happy. She, I, I see her, I love it so much. So, she's a peppy villager and she's got a new fit. I made her very round and soft and very excited to see herself with tiny little hands and feet because I just think tiny hands and feet are cute. For her hair, I gave her two buns in place of her cat ears and I had them pulled back enough of her hair so that her bangs could stay pretty pronounced like in her cat design. She has a cute little dreamy sweater in New Horizons instead of her flower dress so I turned her old dress into loose fitting wavy shorts and I gave her a long ribbon choker to represent her tail. Akia Mary, I'm in love with her actually. <laughs> And at this point, we are so close to the end of this challenge. I was so relieved because in the home stretch we had villagers like Maple and Melba and Lucy, which are all cute girls, which is my comfort zone. But before we could get to them, I had to draw Astrid. And Astrid, I wasn't looking forward to drawing because Astrid has a weird design. I'm not a huge fan of it. Before anybody asks, I've already decided that redesigning Animal Crossing Villagers is not a video I want to ever make. Unlike the other series that I've done redesigns on before, I don't think that the quote unquote ugly designs in Animal Crossing are unintentional or that they look out of place. I think Animal Crossing is very aware when they make a villager look weird or quote unquote ugly. And you know what? I respect it. They're doing it on purpose. That's cool, fine. 
They want them to look that way. They want people to think, wow, that one looks weird. What I would consider doing, though, is a redesigning villagers while swapping their personality types, because while I was looking up Astrid's wiki to try and get some design ideas, I saw that she was snooty? From her card, I was expecting jock? I hate this discovery that personalities are gender locked. Give me my girl jocks, damn it! Anyway, Astrid was hard. I tried to make her look like a rocker chick, I gave her a baby, I gave her workout pants because in my heart she's a jock. And they both get a lot of stars in their hair and their clothes and their sunglasses because they're the coolest mom and son duo on the block. Probably. Here, here's my final Astrid with her Joey. Do the Joeys have names? I wish they did. Maple is next, we've hit Easy Street. And unfortunately, because her design was easy, I don't have too much to say about it. Cute little bear cub equals cute little girl. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. I made her hair really fluffy to go with the bangs that she has as a villager. I made her sweater oversized and her shoes fuzzy to give her that fluffier look since that's what I imagine with bear cubs. And I turned her old shirt into a skirt. I didn't strain any brain muscles on this one. Because I had so many villagers to draw, I was... I was just trying to get through them quickly and efficiently, and a lot of these designs were actually pretty stressful to do on the spot because they weren't in my comfort zone. And I didn't have any time to like really, to, to really mess with them. Especially because I didn't pick the order I drew them in, so I just had to see where the wind took me. So, Mabel was my nice little break. Here is final Mabel. Up next is Melba. Melba's one of my dream villagers, but she wasn't initially when I was looking through the cards on Nintendo Online. Turns out her colors on the card aren't like they are in the game. I think the red background on her card doesn't help either. From the card, her colors look kind of boring. But I happened to find her in game a little bit before I filmed this video and just on a random island and I almost died because she looks like a little toasted marshmallow and her new pastel dress like compliments her so well and oh my god, Melba! <laughs> so I wanted to do her justice. I tried to make her human face and her nose look like her koala design, which was harder than I expected, especially the nose. Her hair is short pigtails that curl inward to kind of reflect her koala ears. I'm pretty sure her outfit New Horizons is a dress, but for human sake, I turned it into a summery shirt, and then her old design is her shorts. For her shoes, I wanted to draw those thick strap sandals, like the ones that their soles remind me of cork. Are they cork? I. I wanted to draw those. I thought they fit her being Australian because I'm pretty sure Melba is supposed to be a reference to Melbourne. Anyway, here, here's my final angel. I think I maybe added a little bit too much detail to her hair, but I, I love her, Melba. Tammy is another one that I'm super sad that she isn't a jock, but I'll accept Uchi as canon. She can be my older sister and sporty on the side. Her colors are pretty all over the place with the yellow and the purple and the red and the brown, but I'm into it. Especially her eyelashes, love those. I gave her a shaved head except for the bangs and I planned for the shaved bits to be bright yellow and her bangs to be brown. You guys can decide which one of those she dyes. I gave her sporty pants to match her jacket, which I personally imagine her jacket is a windbreaker and the pants are those pants that go with windbreakers, like they're made of the same material. Do those have a name? Are those track pants? I don't know. The, the, the plasticky kind of fabric. I want them both to be that. The last design of note that I added was the, the big yellow headphones with the bear cub ears on top. I know animal ear headphones are kind of overused. I admit, it wasn't my biggest brain design moment. My tank was running dangerously empty by now. I forgot to mention when the days turned over, but at this point I was on day three and I was pulling an all-nighter to get it done because my ADHD had been acting up all day and it made focusing too hard to work during the waking hours. Lucy's up next. I don't remember what I had initially planned for her when I saw her card, but I had to scrap everything once I invited her to my campsite because in her card, she has this really basic diamond stripey pink shirt and her skin looks white white, while in the game she has an elaborate ruffled dress and she looks more pinkish to me. So where the card had me thinking cute girl with casual clothes, the game had me switching gears to probably pampered rich girl. It was easy peasy to give her the same dress. I put a curly ribbon in her hair to represent the tail and two parts of her hair hanging over the ribbon to look like floppy pig ears. And for incorporating her last shirt design, I gave her those sandals that are like tall. Not high heeled sandals, but where their uh, uh, mouths are tall. Like they go over your ankles, they eat your ankles. 
I don't know what those are called, but I remember seeing other girls wear them in school. Fun fact, I was showing these designs to my friends as I finished them, and one of my friends didn't know these kinds of flip-flops existed, so she was convinced that I gave Lucy shoes that looked like feet instead of open-toed shoes. And now, I can't unsee it. It's awful. Anyway, here's my final Lucy. Because it was so late at night at this point, I was pretty delirious. I only had two boys left to draw, and it was like 4 a.m. probably. For Rowan, all I could think was, I used to hate this guy. When he lived in my town in New Leaf, I used to hate him. I'm so sorry, dude. To make it up to you, I will give you the fattest titties. When he was my villager in New Leaf, like eight years ago, I hated Rowan because I thought all tigers looked stupid goofy. I was being petty. And then he never moved when I wanted him to, so I just held a grudge forever. But because I just happened to pull him from the same group of packs as Felicity, I was so overwhelmed and charmed that I just happened to get two villagers with names that matched my Lissilock comic characters that I forgave him, and I can only hope he forgives me in return. Again, I'm just excited about names. I gave him sideburns because my mind was still on Professor Rowan, and I thought they looked kinda like Tiger Cheek Fluff. I made him older because my mind was still on Professor Rowan, and I gave him fat titties because he's a jock. Aren't they so inviting? They're gonna be the perfect place for me to take a nap once this video is done. After that, I gave him khakis and golf shoes and a button-up shirt because I think those are all old people clothes. Here's my final Rowan. You're a pretty cool guy after all. That was a high five. Pretend that I high-fived him. And then finally, finally, we get to the final card, Bruce. I had a general idea of what I wanted for Bruce, but now it is like 6 a.m. Light was pouring in through my windows. My hand and brain weren't really connected anymore. My thoughts felt like sand. Why did they feel some type of way? Thoughts don't feel. I was tired. Anyway, Bruce has a jacket in the card, and in New Horizons, the only difference was now he jacket have sleeve. The only real idea I had was to make his antlers into earrings and to put two braids in his ponytail to be antlers also. Why did he need two sets of antlers? Hmm. Can you tell I wasn't jazzed about my results? His human design ended up feeling really plain to me. It wasn't what I wanted, but the challenge was done. Final Bruce. <sighs> but then just like Octavian a couple days later, instead of just finishing the video that was ready to be finished, he was driving me crazy, so I redrew him too. My biggest gripe with myself was the pose that I gave him. I didn't like his pose. His shoes were too big and awkward. His face was rounder and more cutesy than I wanted, and I didn't think it even looked cute enough to be cutesy like that. So I fixed up his posture, and I sized his feet down, and this time to represent him gaining sleeves on his new outfit, I made his sleeves a different color than the rest of his jacket. I gave him different shoes, and I double laced those different shoes so he could have the yellow and blue from his antlers on his, his shoes. So, I mean, I, I gave him his antlers like three times now. Mmm. <laughs> I also gave him a second piercing to look like tiny deer ears. I rolled up his jeans a little bit. I just changed up his shirt a little bit. I just wanted, I didn't want to change a lot. I just, I wanted it to be better, different. I like this one better. <laughs> it's funny because the, the first Bruce that I drew was originally probably my least favorite of these designs other than Octavian. And then once I redrew him and I showed him to my friends, the, the redrawn Bruce was like all of their favorite. Didn't expect that, but that's pretty cool. Glad I redrew him. But, however, but, I regret not giving him eyeshadow. However, but, however, I refuse to spend another second longer on this challenge. Here is the final, final Bruce. Thank you so much for watching. This challenge was really long and hard, and I want to do more of it. <laughs> Like, I really, 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 really want to draw more. So, in the future, I'll be buying more cards and not resting until I have drawn all 300 plus villagers because I hate myself. Wish me luck! If you want to keep up to date with what I'm working on or when I post something cool or even if you just want to vibe and chat with me, I've got a Discord server linked in the description below. We've got an Animal Crossing art contest going on right now, and we're going to have a very special contest going on next month with some big boy prizes. Also, if you want to see my work in progress or my early uploads, you can check out my Patreon. Patreon's a huge relief. It gives me the time to really polish the videos I make so that there's something I'm proud of, rather than having to upload them as quickly as possible with, you know, having to sacrifice the quality.
$2 a month gets you access to everything I post, $10 a month gets your name read at the end of my videos, and $100 a month gets you a personalized shout out and access to our monthly game nights where I'll hang out and, you know, we'll, we'll play whatever games like Jackbox and I'll make stupid decisions like getting McDonald's many times in one night. I, I keep doing that. All that said, thank you so much to my $10 patrons, Dexter Koch, Chris Staru, Hat Josuke, Daniel Baton, Kiba Rai, Roxas Prowers, Q Konhime, Poison Plum, Stella Boop, That's Bobby, Mint Kuro, Billiam X, Rowan Sisk, Chestnut Rhina, Chi, Lily Pia, Johnny Rillaboom, Hadioni, Shayon Tamara, Drawbar, Rowan, Mad to Dog, Nikozawa, Mark Marana, Daniel Johnson, Crazy Kitsune, Charles Walters, Ash Fear, Thunder Evermore, Natasha Rainbach, Alex Davies, Jacob Dunham, Hey, it's Kay, Red Panda. Jason, Junimo, Lily Rosaball, Lena Swagmaster, Ulu, Strongbone, Sparky Plays, Caitlin McKenzie, Jennifer the Mage, Numbnuts, Dojo Kid, Drew Warren, Shayna Bear, Rusty Gear, Dirk Henry, Lydia Lupin, Inugami Black, Franny, Michelangelo, Yugius, Brianne Embry, Mimin, Drunken Literary, Madu, Fear Thy Raptor, Cat Dagger 2, Isaiah Warren, Peach, Mighty Ninja Lamp, Piper PC, Helix, IZ Fan for Life. Steel X, Cineron, Avonpool, Berserker 102, Fox Dragon, Binter Winter Boy the Second, Yakumo Soul Queen, Goof, Buddy, Dragoth, Key the Queen, Yoda, Brent, Zack Illustrations, Silent Calling, Weasel Bites, Night Morrow, Dracos, Cody Richard, It's Daddy AJ to You, DJ Cat Meow, Fairy Armor, Kara Green, Yukichigo, Phantom Kid 02, Furified Arts, Christian Pip, Drex, A Gremlin, Duvong 00, Charmaine Lee, Jacob Goodwin, Hachi Yubi, It's Katie, Diddy, Embla, Hazel Grace, Say Rika, Fields of Starlight, Volpe Bard, Katie Did Nothing, Seb, Mickey On, Patty Melt, Malachu, Matsuo Tanuki, Flickers, Peachy Mint, Blast Ten Away, Old Man Dunsparce, Hika Hyan, JK Jellybean, Ditsy, Chia Rico, T Arctic One, Yuka, Ace, No Thanks, Hannah, Cameron Grace, Doodle Crazy Meg, Wommelsdorf, Art, Lauren, Sound Alchemy, Archibald Anarchy, Dylan MX, Singing Joe, TV Island, Firework Cat 25, Caller 3 Chora, Lilac Witch Kiki, Omar Reyes, Triple Stone, Penumbra, Andre, Johnny Stars, Dead Time, Troll Killer 254, Stratus Winds, J Bay Mayday, Lord Serenade, James Zamora, Midnight Paradise, East West 333, Zephastus, Flaming Puppeteer, Snow Sergeant, Skull Dragon Sylvie, Night Mage 14, Zelfus, Sinister Stephanie, Ethan Gardner, Fallen Spoke 2018, Aswick, Arctic Sentry, Sylveon Dream, Chris Sigma, Fox, Jeremy Readinger, Shale, Faley, Antiqua, Dust Munchies, The Orc Cafe, Arwen, Dosko, Sneeko, Starcy, Skull Daiquiri, Emma Joy, Gus Daniels, Blue Daniel 16, Andrew Robinson, Stephen Cooper, Jordan Brooks, Namorphus, Morty LS, Trash Zuma, Daniel Saria, Kurt Kuhlman, Dan Warren, Cookie Brook, Mercy Mayhem, Koda, Lairatsu, Yursuri, On Hikari, You Honey Bee, Tiny, The Scorched Blaze, Swift, Chaos, Orion, Horizon Blue, and Kabuki! And then, of course, thank you so, 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 so much to my $100 patrons. We have Stupid Genius, Nifty, Russell the Jimmies, Cayenne Peppers, Jordan Alexander Sanchez, and Kara Stark Strange. And then as far as people who made their shout-out requests, Momo Hart wanted a surprise shout-out, so I'm gonna call her out. Her Twitter right now is, like, entirely ass. Like, everything from the recent days, it's all butts. My lord. Ginger Emu wants me to spread the gospel of Chad Chu. Uh, P-Chad? They keep posting a goddamn Pichu with, like, the handsome Squidward face in the chat. I'm afraid. Leo Bowen wants a shout-out to his boyfriend and date mate, M and Les, and says he loves them to the moon and back. Also, my own note, congratulations, Leo, on getting his boyment, his boisturizer. It's so exciting. Sky would like to officially and legally declare their brothership with Silver. May they be bound in broly matrimony till death do these brothers part. We have a lot of pandemic well wishes from the $100 patrons too. Uh, Justin Inc. says he hopes everyone's staying safe and getting lots of rest while they're still dealing with quarantine. Ivan Quaraz says that they're hoping everyone is motivated to stay indoors. Please be considerate of your immunocompromised neighbors. Force Raider also wants everyone to stay safe, but boy, I hope Force Raider stays safe because his job was deemed essential, so he's still out and about right now. Eggs Machina wanted some well wishes in this hard time and asked for a little pick-me-up, so I googled fun facts. The first thing that popped up was, fun fact, McDonald's once made bubblegum flavored broccoli and people were confused by the taste. I can't tell if that's real, but sit on that. And finally, Raiden! Raiden is back from deployment! And he gave me a really hard thing to do, so forgive me for this, but... He's been gone for so long, so I guess I have to read it. He says, it's fucking great to be back! Now everyone can fear for their lives again, for I, Raiden, have come to take over the world again! <laughs> he made me do the laugh. It was all in all caps. I'm, 
I've, I'm done with Raiden. I hope he leaves again. <laughs> have a nice day, guys. Everyone, all of you, have a nice, lovely. Bye! Not me, not me,